It's the time again for a package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Wicked Gamer Hand Collector. So in today's video, we are going to take a close look at the budget solution from AliExpress for your N64 HDMI problem. Yeah, do I say it correctly? Nevertheless, HDMI for your N64. I already did a review about it in the past, but it was more like a pound cable and I needed to use an RGB modified N64. I hope you can still follow it. Nevertheless, it didn't work for every model, but now, on AliExpress, I found this HDMI solution for your N64. So I'm very curious, what are we going to get and how good is the signal? Because the original HDMI solution was freaking expensive and maybe this can be a fun solution for us all. So let's see what we're going to get. Here we have the Made in China product. Let's see what we're having here. So it seems to be we can swap between 720p and 1080p. It still needs some extra juice, so keep in mind that we need to use this. So we're plugging into the device itself, the N64, and here we have the HDMI. That's it. Let's see it comes, it comes more with the product. Oh, okay, we have a micro USB cable, HDMI cable, and there is no power supply. Hmm, all right. Let's see some information. Oh, all right. Some information how to connect it. It's more like Captain Obvious moment for me, but... As you can see, we're going to need a power sub adapter, 5 volt. It's going to be simply the same thing where you're going to use for your phone. I'll leave a link in the description for everything so you know where to pick it up. All right, going to grab myself a cable, another cable. Just leave this and this in the box, don't need it. And we're going to grab my N64. And let's play some Nintendo 64. All right, so I powered on the system itself. I didn't use the extra power and I just wanted to show you that it doesn't work. So I need to use an extra power supply for the 5 volt. In other words, we need some extra juice. Give me the absolutely power. All right, I grabbed myself 5 volt amplifier. As you can see, it's giving already signal. Let's power it on. Let's see where it's going on. It's running on 720p now. It says AV out. Of course, it looks a little bit blurry, like always. But this will, oh man, it looks way better than did the way better than, of, of course, the AV out. I don't notice any big delay or something. No, not at all. There's only one thing I did notice. I need to pause it for this time, for this part. Okay, we have this little switch for 1080p. But if I'm going to put them on 1080p. All right. And as you can see, the screen of the image itself is totally messed up. So what I'm going to do is the following thing. I'm going to grab myself a Paul N64 and let's see what happens. So for the 720p it works like a charm. But first I need but first I needed to shoot him. <laughs> Alright, so this is what you're going to get with the Paul system. Uh, let's see, I put it on the 720p mode. There is a weird stuff going on. It does recognize the input. Alright, so let's 
swell up to the 1080p. Let's see what happens then. Huh. Let's get on the same problem at the side there. We're having the little bar that is not like it should be. Wow, the image looks pretty horrible. Oh. All right, let's put it back in 720p. So it seems to me that it's not handling the pulse system quite well. The image looks very washed out, very horrible. No. Oh, it's quite very disappointed. All right, we're going to play a little bit and then we're going to try if it works on the Elgato and I'm going to give you a live capture of the device. Oh man, long time. Oh man, this game brings so bad so much good memory. Give your machine down. Oh yeah. I'm like freaking Rambo. Right, let's give you a little intro so you can see how it looks. Of course, don't get me wrong, this basic upscaling HDMI solution, it will not give you this crisp clear like the ultimate mod you can do with your N64. But this is more like a basic plug and play solution if you want to enjoy your N64 on your television. Alright, so um, now we're going to switch to the 1080p. Right, Elgato says 1080p, now you can see the bar at the right so that works like shit. And with the PAL system it doesn't even work at all. Alright, so this is what you're going to get with this plug and play HDMI device. I must say, first of all, this thing becomes a little bit hot if you're going to use it for a couple of hours. So the idea behind it is that you just plug and play it HDMI in your Nintendo 64, that is pretty cool. But the first disappointment is that with the PAL version, or one of these is the PAL version, I couldn't get any f normal signal. It did say, alright, Paul signal uh, input, everything needs to be working, but at the end, I didn't get any image. With the Japanese version, or better said, the NTCS, that works like a charm, it's just working fine. Uh, the 1080p still having this weird scan line or this weird little line at the side, that is also not good. So, if you're going to use it, I'm going to use this thing for my Japanese version, Japanese uh, N64. 720p works just fine but is this the worth our money 
that is something up to you to decide. But I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment. And uh, if you become one of the Wicked family, this means we'll see you in my next video.